Hello everyone, today I am going to show you guys how you can use line renderer to make lines between objects in Unity similar to this one. So let's get to it. This is our starting scene. You can see the main camera settings, its perspective and the distance is minus 10. And we are using a plane for our background. You can see it uses a background material, just a white material. Okay, Then this is sphere objects. This will be used for our line render anchor. Make sure is spheres as a sphere collider and also layer selectables. If you don't know how to add layer, just click on the layer, then add layer, then come back and yep. Okay. Now let's look at our line settings. I'm using this line renderer. Uh, for our lines and I already gave some points that because I wanted to see how it will look before uh, making the code okay so first uh, our width is 0.2 then our corner vertex is 5 and that's because uh, this is the corner okay so if I make it to 0 it's sharp but if you make it to 5 it's rounded and in cap vertexes are simple here it's hard and if I make it to 5 it's rounded now uh, make sure your generate lighting data is true that because if it's not true you see our color is broken uh, so our light renderer has a material called line matte which is a green color so this is our uh, setup okay now let's get to the code I created an object called connection manager in hierarchy then added my script to it which takes two main variables one for line renderer and one for target layer mask and it's selectables that's because our sphere has the layer for selectables now open connection manager you can see the line renderer target layer mask and main camera we are caching our main camera camera.main then it's drawing it's true when we are started drawing content object list is for holding our objects and draw position list of vector 3 this one will be responsible for setting our line position count here. Now let's go to update. So whenever we pressed our left mouse button, we are getting a ray or input mouse position here. Main camera is going to point to ray, input mouse position. Then we are casting that ray here. If it's hit something, that's mean we are started drawing. And also in our connect, we added these objects okay, that we hit. And if our uh, right renderer is deactive, then we are activating it. That's because uh, it start, it should be deactivated. Now, whenever we are dragging our mouse, it should be our uh, mouse button zero and also drawing true. This should be both true. Then again, we are casting, uh, we are getting a ray in input mouse position, then casting that ray. If it's hit something, then we are adding it to our content objects but here we are first checking we already didn't add these objects to our content objects okay uh, that's because if we don't check this uh, there will be more duplicates okay now whenever we are stop pressing our mouse button and we are previously drawing we are resetting the drawing and we are clearing our content objects now uh, let's get to the draw line method here this draw line is responsible for uh, drawing the line first we are making the draw positions clear here you can see this vector tree we are clearing it then we are checking if our connected objects is at least one then we made a for loop uh, here for it adding the position of these objects to our draw position list now we want to create a, a line between our uh, last object and mouse position that's why we are getting the mouse position for that here main camera is going to wall point and it takes uh, input mouse button x y and 10f that because uh, the distance main camera minus 10 that's why lastly i'm adding the uh, input position to draw position here here the most important to wind in our line renderer, we are setting position count to uh, draw position length 
then setting this position it takes an it takes an array so we made like two array it converts our list to an array okay that's it actually now if you play you're able to draw a line between them also no duplicates happening but one thing you noticed it our line is moving yeah somehow it's moving okay so oh one more thing i forgot we need to clear our line however we are stop drawing here i'm just position setting the line under position count to zero and draw position clear and line it to false okay this line is obeling okay i found a way around it uh but here <laughs> it's kind of funny so here we are adding the uh, our positions of connected objects to our vector tree list right so we duplicate it at least four times now if you play it yeah yep, it fixed now this kind of character system used for a lot of puzzle games recently i made a game uh, as you can see i made the uh, character system similar to the way i showed you in the video I hope this helps and if you have any questions or need further assistance please feel free to leave a comment below thank you guys for watching